I accept the marriage to Nora Sara Marie Hildebrand, Binti Ashraf Hildebrand, with a mar of 300 ringgit Malaysia in full settlement. Alhamdulillah, I feel really relieved and uh, happy because I'm finally married uh, to Otto. Uh, do you want to say anything? Yeah. Uh, I never really saw myself getting married until I met Sarah. And so it's a, it's a great feeling for me. She gave me hope for something so powerful. I, I never expected this. Uh, Sarah, what's so special about Otto? Otto, what's so special about Sarah? You want to do it first? Yes, you first. Okay, yes, me first. <laughs> yeah, Ladies exactly. first. Um, Quite scared. Okay. Um, well, I Otto like when I I just feel really comfortable with Otto, and I feel that um, he's very respectful, and I, I like I like how he treats me, and it's just it's something that I can't really describe. Dia memang seorang yang istimewa lah bagi saya. How your turn now? Thank you. <laughs> very sweet. Uh, I appreciate Sarah's patience with me because I'm very goofy or silly most times and she puts up with a lot of that and, and she shows me loving kindness and uh, she cares for me more than anyone ever has and I can see that every day. Mendengar, dia suka uh, very very respectful cara dia macam layan my family dengan I pun sendiri dia very respectful. Um, he's also dia dia serious bila perlu dia um, dia also like suka my mind which I I like juga because you cannot just be serious 24/7 kan. Um, and I boleh boleh nampak lah that he really really loves me. And um, itu je lah. That's why I like about Otto. Okay, sebab saya, um, saya, saya pun sendiri memang seorang yang simple. And I I just nak ikut apa yang wajib je. Ikut ikut hukum uh, ag agama je. Uh -huh. Tak nak tak naklah buat apa-apa yang terlampau uh, melebih. Sebab lagi pun dia pun baru masuk Islam. And I nak tunjuk dia lah basic yang uh, apa Islam perlu sahaja. Uh -huh. Apa lama bagi sini rancang sebab macam sekejap juga untuk persiapkan dokumen sekolah dan untuk usaha perkahwinan ini? Ya, sebenarnya we have planned this since... Um, when did we start talking about this? I think dah sejak April uh, memang discuss, uh, uh, memang dah start planning dah. Uh, uh. So what opened my heart to it was meeting some... Or Meeting someone who was so familiar to me, someone I already knew. I knew her before she was wearing hijab. So then whenever she, I saw that she was wearing hijab, it opened so many questions for me to her. And she was able to answer them and uh, explain things in a way that's never been explained to me because the way I know Islam or always knew Islam growing up is totally different than how I know it now. And uh, I wouldn't have found it if it hadn't been for a friend, somebody that I knew you know, to, someone to converse with, someone to communicate with, yeah, to feel comfortable with because you can't just approach a stranger or anything. So I had a, I had a connection there and uh, that's what made in my interest is Sarah's hijab, I suppose. Okay, um, we've known each other since high school, uh, but um, we weren't really close, but um, after, um, 
in February, we started to get close and uh, we started talking as friends and then dia macam tiba-tiba dia macam dah start uh, mula macam rasa ada rasa sayang pula ah berbunga-bunga rasa sayang and then we started to fall in love and things just got serious cepat <laughs> sangat sangat ha uh-huh. Uh, yes, insya Allah memang plan reception. Tapi buat masa sekarang tak ada tarikh lagi lah. Uh, tapi uh, insya Allah ada ada. Uh, awal tahun depan insya Allah. Yes, reception. Ah, uh, uh, tak. Yang baju ay mak buat, and then baju auto um, uh, tailor biasa biasa je lah yang buat uh, kawan my mother. Rasanya macam ni, rasanya artis baju. Kan? Uh, uh. So I dah biasa pakai baju mak buat time raya pun So I, I rasa macam rasa bangga lah dapat pakai baju mak buat sendiri kan Mak sekarang nak bangga bangga juga itu Taylor, uh, Taylor. Uh, So jadi rasa macam rasa proud lah rasa kasih sayang tu ada <laughs> Sebab dikat hari mungkin ada ramai pihak nak menanya pesaran tolak pekerjaan Oh no, tajaan sangat diterima. <laughs> tajaan sangat diterima. So terbuka lah untuk reception memang uh, cari sponsor. Ah ah. Ya Allah belum lagi. Tunggu dulu. Tak tahu tak. Um, planning honeymoon tak sure lagi. We're not sure where we're going. We have some ideas. We have some ideas. Some ideas brewing up. Okay, antaranya tempat kamu di US. Uh, tak lah, uh, just around Asia saja. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to travel somewhere I've never been. So any uh, Southeast Asian countries where I want to go. So kita orang pun dah biasa kan balik US. Tak nak lah kita orang nak try pergi somewhere in Asia. Jadi pulang cerita di negara Asia. Yes, pulau lah. How many children do you want? <laughs> That's a good question. A few. <laughs> A few children. <laughs> uh, more than one. Yeah. Ah, uh, sebab uh, I pun anak anak tunggal kan. Kalau boleh, I nak lah more than one berapa? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> oh, three? Okay. Doa doa kan lah. Oh, I'm more than one. More than one. Tengok lah rezeki macam mana kan? Tidak ada waktu sekali. Ada boleh plan. Um, I tak tahu lah kalau 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 dapat kalau rezeki awal ah uh, okay lah kalau rezeki lambat pun tak apalah kita ikut je timeline. So lepas pekan ini um, aku akan menetap di uh, KL. Yes, you'll you'll be staying here. Yes. Working yes. here. I've already begun working here and staying it at uh, nearby. Staying nearby to here and nearby to her, her and her mother, so uh, I'm settling in nicely at the moment. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, tak ada perubahan. Memang saya akan um, sambung bekerja, shooting, drama. Um, Insyaallah next week dah ada dah. Next week dah ada dah job. Um, tahun depan pun, Januari pun dah ada dah job. So. Uh, nanti kan saya dalam drama yang terbaru. What's your promises to Sarah? My promises to Sarah are to always take care of her in a way that she needs me to, and uh, you know, some ways I'll learn. I'll learn down the road what she needs, and I'm learning now what she needs and what she wants, and uh, and I want to be a good example for her in every way, poss- every way possible but including in a religious way but i'm not the most she has more knowledge than me right now but i'm every day i'm studying more and more so that we can be equal or or right and i don't you know i want to be able to guide you but i can't do that without i can't do that right at the moment but that's a goal of mine is to be able to guide you throughout our lives that's what i want to do my promises um same uh, for now because since he just converted I hope I hope that I can be a good leader and uh, sebab uh, yelah orang cakap tanggungjawab besar kan uh, so I hope I can fulfill the responsibilities uh, I hope that I become a good wife I promise to love and care for you um, through sickness and in health 
um, sampai ke jana. Till heaven. Yeah. <laughs>